We all know and we all hear it, backing up is important, yet a lot of people still don't do it. And me making this video it probably isn't going to change that for most people, but maybe I can get a few more people to back up their files. For me, the most important things to back up are videos and pictures, because those can't be replaced. Documents can also be important, but they can usually be typed up again. But, but a video of something, a memory, uh, once it's gone, it's gone. So make not just single backups, but multiple backups, and don't rely solely on the cloud, although it is good to use the cloud uh, as external backups. Um, so here's an example. I'm in my videos folder here where I have videos and, and photos. Uh, and let's say I have this folder here called Blueberry from when uh, my wife, my daughter, and I uh, went blueberry picking with some friends. And let's say I just got home. The important thing about backing up is to do it right away uh, because the longer you wait, the, the harder it's going to be to organize that stuff. If you do it as you take the pictures and videos, it's easier to organize. And then also, you know, if something happens, that stuff's already backed up. So I have all this stuff, uh, my camera, I usually copy it over to my computer. So how do I back up this stuff? Well, for me, first off, I want local copies. Uh, I have a pogo plug in the other room. If you don't have a pogo plug, a Raspberry Pi might be good. Pogo plugs are nice because uh, they have better power supplies for supplying hard drives. I have um, Debian installed on my pogo plug. A pogo plug is, is a small computer you can buy for like $20, and it make, lets you have your own cloud computer at home, and you can plug in as many hard drives as you want. I flash it and put Debian on it. Um, so what I do is I get home after organizing my photos on my local computer, I then copy everything over to that. Now there's two ways I could do that. Through the GUI interface, which is not how I normally do it, but a lot of people might do it, um, I use SSH, which is an encrypted way of communicating with, um, with other computers. So I'm going to hit F3. I'm using uh, um, PC, uh, PC Man file uh, browser here. You can also use Thunar or Nautilus. Most Linux-based uh, file browsers allow you to do uh, SSH communications using FTP protocols. So I'm going to hit F3 here, and I actually already have a shortcut here that says backups. So when I click that, you can see up here it says FTP and the uh, address and the folder that I want to go to. It's just a shortcut I made. So, and then I organize, personally, I organize everything by years. So here's 2015, we're just coming out of 2015, these folders from 2015. So I get home and I just um, come over here and I would drag this whole folder over there and it will copy them over. And then I'll have that copy on my server in the other room, which I have two one gig terabyte, or one gig, two one terabyte drives hooked up to, one for myself and one for my wife. So that's one way of doing it, dragging and dropping. I personally do it this way. Same exact thing, just using the shell. I'm in the folder, my videos folder, as you can see here, and I say S copy. I can also use FTP, S FTP, and I'm saying R for reclusive, meaning copy everything inside this folder, the whole folder, to here. It would do the same thing. I'll hit enter, it'll ask me for a password, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have my copy on my computer, my copy on my server in the other room. What is next? What happens if my house burns down? Or what if that hard drive goes bad on that server? I want to have other copies other other places. That's where the cloud comes in, for me anyway. So you can create accounts on Flickr. Uh, Archive.org is a great place. Obviously, YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, and then Google+. Plus. Um, so I actually created a script. I just have to type in... Um, archive in my shell and hit that and it opens up all those uh, websites I just said in the browser that way I don't have to go to each one and uh, the nice thing about this okay so so big one is is Google Photos uh, with Google Photos if you have a Google account you have 15 gigs of storage which is a lot more than a lot of other places give you storage of and that's 15 that's for everything you can do videos photos documents your emails whatever but also, you actually have unlimited for photos. Now, uh, when you have unlimited, once you reach your, your limit, or if you check it to automatically do this already, uh, it will scale them down to still a high quality. It won't be the full size, but it gives you unlimited. You can put as many pictures as you want forever and ever on Google, uh, theoretically anyway, and never run out of space and still have printable quality images. Um, so that's one place I drag my photos to. I have a separate Google account for my home videos, or YouTube account, so I put videos there, Dailymotion, and Vimeo. Those are three great sites that um, you can upload videos to, and they'll store them as HD, and you can always retrieve them later on. Um, Vimeo gives you a limit each week, so you can only do 500 um, uh, megabytes a week, uh, but each week it refreshes. 
YouTube, it's pretty much unlimited. There's a limit to each video size. Yeah, it's, it's pretty large. They keep upping it. But to the number of videos, you can upload as many as you want. So those are three great sites for videos. You can also upload videos to archive.org and Flickr. So those are, I, I put my videos on all five of those sites. Um, so I have five copies of every video that I back up online as well as in my server in the other room. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping the videos to those websites. And for photos, for Google+, archive.org, and Flickr, I drag the pictures over there as well. Organize them in albums so I know where everything is. And now my server in the other room could go down, but the chances of all five of these going down at the same time are, is unlikely, or all six of these going down at the same time is very unlikely. Uh, never trust your data completely to any of these services. A lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people watching this video are going to be like, oh, don't, don't upload your videos there, don't give the corporates your information, blah, blah, blah. That's a personal choice, but if you want to back up, these are great sites, and there are others, and and yeah, you know, I could upload all my videos to YouTube and YouTube can cancel my account and I can lose all those videos, but I have them all on all these other ones. I can pull them off my server in the other room or one of these sites and create a new Google account and upload it there. The chance of all these sites going down at the same time and my server in the other room is highly unlikely. So those are great sites. So one last thing I do. So I have copies I put up online, which... Uh, in most cases, like with the videos, they're going to be recompressed. They're still going to look great, but they're not going to be as good as quality as I may have on my server in the other room. I want to keep other copies of that as well. What I've done in years past is every January after the new year, I take my folder, as I said, uh, on my server. Well, I closed that window. On my server, I put everything in a folder labeled that year. So at the end of the year, I can then take that whole folder and what I used to do is I used to put them on separate DVDs and it usually would take about five DVDs for me to back up everything, five to six or seven. Burning DVDs is a pain in the butt. Flash drives have come down so much in price. I can get a 32 gig flash drive for under $10 now. So I can get a, a for $10, I can get a flash drive for the year and back up all my videos and pictures and documents and everything and put that on the flash drive and put that in a fireproof safe. So now I have the original copies on my server here at home and in a safe. And then if those fail, I still have decent quality copies up online that I can pull down. So that's what I do there. Something else to bring up with backups, something I do every January is Google Takeout. If you just Google Google Takeout and click on Google Takeout here, it's going to ask you for your password, even if you're already logged in, I might have typed that wrong. Nope, I typed it right. And then go down to um, control your content and then create an archive. And in here, you can check all your different services that you want. Uh, and what it will do is it will create a big zip file for you of all your contents. And you can uncheck different services. Like I have a lot of videos on YouTube. I, I don't back that up. Um, and I don't back up my Google Plus photos because um, all that is already backed up. I already have that. So I uncheck those, but all the other ones, I can back up all my emails. I use Google Voice, so I have all my voicemails, all my text messages. I can back all those up. Facebook also does the same thing. If you go to Facebook and you go to your settings, right, why am I not there? Settings, you'll notice there's a link right here, download a copy of your Facebook data. It does the same thing. It will give you a big old zip file with all of your conversations on Facebook, all your posts and photos, and you can back that up. And I do that once a year as well. So I just want to throw out there what I do for backups. It's very important for me. Uh, back in high school, I used to put everything on CDs and DVDs. And now 15 years later, I go to, to check some of those CDs and DVDs and they're, even though I had them nicely in books, they don't work anymore, or half the pictures aren't working. So multiple backups, both local and remote. If your house burns down, you want copies someplace else. So this is what I do. It might seem like overkill, putting all my stuff on five different websites, as well as a server at home and a flash drive, but it takes minutes to do if you do it regularly, and you're never gonna lose anything if you do it that way. So what do you do for your backups? That's why I want to know. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I know some people will complain, you know, people don't like Google, so they won't use YouTube or, or Google Photos, which I don't understand. 
I, I get the concept why, but I wouldn't put anything personal up on there, but who cares if it, there's pictures of my daughter that of her as a cherry in an ice cream cone or, or riding an alligator. Um, that these are these are things I don't care. And I, I, I make most of this stuff public, so if I ever get locked out of the account, I can still find them. I don't care if people see these photos, but different people have different views on that. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know uh, what you do for your backups. I thank you for watching. As always, I uh, hope you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. As always, I hope that you have a great day.